next. If you are aiming for hardware roles, especially the digital roles, then Verilog is a must. You can you, you can focus on any other hardware description languages. I would suggest you to focus on Verilog first because it is easy to learn. It is very important to have a good knowledge of all the concepts in Verilog. I refer to the book Samir Palnetkar. It is a good way to start. There are also NPTEL lectures that are available. I suggest to watch them only if you have a very long time, but that is not needed. You can just refer to this book, that would be sufficient. You have to practice a lot of questions, that way you will build your concepts. In Verilog, you have to learn how to code for various logics at different abstraction level. So, look into the different abstraction level, the gate level modeling, behavioral and uh, more higher abstraction levels. Verilog questions can be asked in interviews. So. You should have a good grip on the, all the concepts and also in the online test. A good project in the Verilog will be definitely helpful. It will add a lot of weight to your resume. So as a tip, you can refer to some good research papers for project ideas and you can directly implement those ideas as a project and keep them in your resume. Coming to the resources for Verilog, Samir Palnitkar book is very useful. So this is a book, a Verilog HDL, a guide to digital design and synthesis. You can download it online and also there is other book a vhdl primer by j baskar and samir panetkar so this would be sufficient there are more resources you can refer to the ac called verilog tutorials this is also useful and uh, for verilog concept you can focus on java point verilog tutorials and uh, practice different questions from various on websites also this was this is one example of the project that you can do there are different websites which contain Verilog projects, you can look into them. There is a website called FPGA for students. This also contains good projects on Verilogs and also different HDLs. So have a look at that. Static timing analysis is again the most important for that, especially for digital roles. There are topics like design flow and uh, layout basics. You have to look into them and especially the setup time and whole time basics that is needed here. These questions are generally asked in interviews. VLSI expert is a one-stop solution. You can refer to this VLSI expert and uh, make your short notes on this. You can revise it again. In the VLSI expert website, all the concepts are explained very systematically. So you just have to follow those concepts and make your short notes. That would be sufficient. Coming to the resources, this is the most important resource that I have used. VLSI concepts in uh, vlsiexpert.com blog. I think this is the second chapter of the blog. So just focus on the second chapter, that should be sufficient. You can look into this test book by Jan Rabe and uh, for look into some interview questions from YouTube in static timing analysis. There are different uh, YouTube lectures available. For uh, interviews, focus on uh, what are the different questions that can be asked in static timing analysis. So all these resources you can find from online, there are no specific resource. So just focus on the VLSI expert blog, that should be sufficient and for practice looking to online resources.